it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the April Knit Crate. If you're not familiar with Knit Crate, they are a subscription box, and each month you get patterns, yarn, and other fun things in your crate. So let's pop it open and see what it's all about this month. Not always comes, this is like their signature uh, teal box. And then this month, there is some pretty confetti paper. It looks like a birthday present. And inside, we can see the yarn this month. How pretty is this yarn? It looks super springy. It's like the perfect April color, isn't it? Okay, so let's grab our box and slide it out of the way. And as you can see, there's also this full color book. Now, a couple months ago, they switched over to this. They used to have like a postcard and you could go online and get your patterns and things. But now they've switched over to this really beautiful full color book. So let's slide the yarn back just a hair and we'll see what's in the book this month. So this, it's always called the Inspirations. It's kind of like as if they had a magazine and that was the name of their magazine. So if we pop it open, they are announcing here they have a little uh, community in their Ravelry group that they're doing. You can also get the patterns digitally. This, this little ebook that they're calling it is uh, available as a digital ebook as well. So the theme for the April crate is called entomology. And that is the study of insects, in case you're wondering. But as you can see, there's some, some yarn here inspired by this ladybug. There's this color that we have over here inspired by, I'm guessing it's a caterpillar. I'm not really up and up on my insect knowledge, but it looks like a little caterpillar. And, oh, it's actually called Leaf Eater, inspired by the tobacco hornworm, a caterpillar that is pretty to look at, but pesky in the vegetable garden. How cute. And then the ladybug, I do know that one. <laughs> so, um, and then their sock crate over here is also inspired by this insect over here. Uh, and then they have, they just started doing this recently. They're having a pop-up shop and these are also inspired by some insects and they are going to have some beautiful hand dyed yarn in their pop-up shop. So hop on over to Knit Crate. I'll put the link below if you want to learn more about that. So let's keep flipping. Now the, uh, crochet pattern. So in every knit crate, you get a crochet pattern and you get a knit pattern, which is really nice because it caters to everyone. This one is called Chrysalis, and I'll just read the description to you. This crocheted spring shoulder warmer is a little, like a little slip of a stole, shorter than a scarf, but just right for throwing over your shoulders. Think of it as a personal blanket with a lot more style. And you can see they use the color we have here, the leaf eater, I think is what it was called. Yes. So they have the leaf eater pattern, uh, a colorway rather, and um, it just looks very pretty for spring. And that is by Liliana Bus Cholmeco. I hope I'm saying that correctly also. So let's flip and you have the full written pattern and they have the yarn pictured with it's very pretty, very pretty pattern. Okay, the next pattern is the knit pattern, and that one is called Canopy. That's by Destiny Meyer. And then the description for that is a classic top-down triangle shawl inspired by the canopy walk of Whiting Forest. The unique mix of unobtrusive bridges and man-made elements are reflected in garter sections here, while towering forest trees are shown through each lace panel. You can see those there. So you have the written pattern for that, for the canopy. That's the other colorway. Remember back here uh, when we were looking, the one that matches the ladybug? So the color of the yarn is always a surprise, which is fun. And there's charts, the written pattern, full charts. This one has multiple charts. Also, I wanted to point out that Knit Crate also has a sock crate, and this is their sock pattern. So you actually get a little bonus by subscribing to this because you, you'll get a, a sock pattern as well. Even though it's not the sock crate, the sock pattern is still in the booklet. So I'm guessing if you get the sock crate, uh, those patterns are in. So if you get the sock crate, you also get the, the booklet, everything contained in the booklet. 
Okay, let's keep flipping, keep flipping. There's the sock pattern. And something else I really love is they have a featured designer page in their booklet. So they feature the crochet pattern designer, the knit pattern designer that we talked about before, the sock pattern designer, and also, um, and also the designer of the pop-up shop as well. So if we keep flipping, here is some more information about the April pop-up shop. There's some patterns, and how beautiful is this color? I just love this color. This is a really like four season color you could wear anytime. And on the back, we are gonna get a little sneak peek of next month's crate. May 2019, the theme will be Farmer's Market. So you can see all the produce, chilies, fun quilts, you know, kind of like a mood board, but I am really looking forward to that. Those are some fun colors. I'm all about the colors. So that is the April knit crate um, that focuses on all the little bugs that are coming out right now for spring, and I got this pretty leaf eater. Now let's look at this. This is their Aldine Wools. This is their in-house yarn. And this is the Aldine Wool's Psy DK, and the colorway is Leaf Eater. This is an 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere. So as you can imagine, it just feels like a cloud. It's beautiful. This is a DK weight. Each one is 302 yards, so you're going to get quite a bit of yarn with this. And this is a hand wash only, and they do a really good job, if you look at the back here, of matching their dye lots. So that's also really important when you're making these projects. So beautiful yarn, really fun patterns in the knit crate for April. So that is the April knit crate. I'll put all the links down below. And one more thing I wanted to mention, that their knit crates are $24.99, and that includes worldwide shipping. So that's an incredible value. And on top of that, Knit Crate has generously given the FiberFlux viewers of the channel and readers of the blog a 20% off discount. So use the code FLUX20, I'll put the link above, F-L-U-X-2-0 to get 20% off your crate. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again.